GGB is a hack. I'm sorry. I'm a streamer. I got it. I got to use equipment. Okay, so O equals triangle center. A, B, C, 3. And omega is circle A, B, C. M is midpoint B, C. And O, M at X and Y. Okay, so... Uh, tangent A omega should intersect line B C at X, which is off the page because why wouldn't it be? Um, okay, and Y is intersect line A X line O M. Thank you for the 100 bit cheer from Anne Wenju. Much appreciate. Okay, and uh, N will be the midpoint of AM, and there's two points P and Q, which I trust are probably absolutely useless, and actually what we want is that they lie on the radical axis of the two circles. Uh, so we're not going to draw P and Q, we're just going to say I want this on the radical axis. Because, like, why would P and Q be useful? Uh, I hope I'm right about that. Someone implemented 3000 triangle centers in GeoGebra? Sounds about right. Oh yeah, that's such a cute emote. Where'd that come from? Give please. <laughs> Is the screen blurry? Uh, I hope not. Am I online? I think I'm online, right? Ah, it's probably yeah. Okay, so N should be on the radical axis, which is. Why the midpoint of AM? Okay, whatever. Uh, maybe the radical axis is, is that what I think it is? I, I doubt it. Uh, but it's funny because like, okay, well, we're, we're gonna draw on the other midpoint. There, there's no way around it. Uh, we're gonna let P be the midpoint of X, Y. So it's the center of the circle because this triangle we have is a, wait, sorry, I'm silly. It's not a right angle triangle. Oh, uh, fine. Uh. Oh, that is a really cute emote. We're gonna let S be the center of this circle. I feel like this... Okay, it's just like the pass through. Uh, all right, what is this? <laughs> oh my god. Can you guys like spend your energy to like help me solve the problem instead of like making multis on AOPS? Like, <laughs> like. <sighs> Anyways, uh. I have an idea. What happens if I use linearity of power of a point? By which I mean, you know the power of M with respect to. You know the powers of A and M with respect to the circle. And maybe I can get the power of A and M with respect to O, X, Y, right? Right? What if I just used linearity of power of a point? I haven't used this in a very long time, so I don't know if this will actually work. But it seems worth a shot. So we're going to compute the power of M. So the power of m with respect to the circumcircle is bc squared over 4, that's easy. And the power of a with respect to the circumcircle is 0, because it's on the circumcircle. So now what I need is the power of um, oxy for both of these. 
And it feels like you should just be able to get both of them. Um, so AX times AY. And Verton. And the other hand, M is like MO times MY. So it would be sufficient to prove some identity. Let me make sure I get the identity right. I want MO times uh, MY. times my minus to be equal to ax times ay plus one quarter bc squared. That is necessary and sufficient to solve the problem. Okay, uh, can I just compute everything? It feels like I can just compute everything. Also, I hope I'm getting that. Sorry, the ax times ay is negated, right? One, one of them is negated. Uh, oh, sorry. The, 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 ah. Wait, okay, I definitely messed something up. Uh, all right, all right, <laughs> all right. What, what did I mess up? Uh. Oh jeez, uh, that's not what I want to do. Uh... Yeah, okay, sorry. Um... It's adjusting the white balance automatically, so if I... Uh, Alright, I'll just sit very still so the green screen doesn't act up. And debug this later. <laughs> Another nothing quicken day. So AX times AY well, should be negative, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, these, 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 this one's negative and this one's negative. And MO times MY for that matter. Well. Oh, configuration issues. A MX time MO times MY could technically be negative. If if the the triangle is not of the right flavor. What is the thing we're trying to prove? I want n to be on the radical axis, and I want to get it by using like a linearity argument. So... I'm getting all the signs wrong though. I think in the end, I just want ax times ay is equal to the sum of the two things. I think this is what I want. So can, can I actually compute these? It feels like it just should be... It doesn't look that great, actually. Uh, you just want... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is actually not wonderful. Cause like I need I, I need to reference that angle. Like there's an angle of, um A and B which is not great. And I wanna deal with it. I can define this in just AOMXY. Um is that true? Let's see. What's what's the criteria for O? A O M. 
Wait, I'm being silly. This is this is the altitude. No, Ao is the one. That's the right angle. Okay. Yeah. So it's like I have a right triangle and a point on it, and I draw that right angle. Is that really necessary and sufficient? Uh, thanks, Shadowfax, for the cheer. Yeah. So okay, I I. It really is just a right triangle with a point on it, right? And then you define O. And okay, all right, all right. So, um, I, I guess we just run the problem over now, right? Uh, is that it? There's nothing else to do? Is that it? Like, the... the I could just run it over now, right? All right. Well, for this calculation, I'm going to switch to the. I'm going to switch to the. You know, we didn't actually need GeoGebra. This is all we're going to do with it. So, all right, let's go here. So I want that thing. Um, let, let's just run it over. Was Y on top or X on top? Um, y is here, X is here. Uh, okay, I guess I have to do some calculation now. Uh, so we're gonna, we're just gonna say this is R and this is like, we'll call this H and this is like root R squared plus H squared or something. And then now this guy will be some constant times H. This is something. And then this is like KR. That's our setup. I don't like this setup very much. Can't, sorry, this is, this is bad. Um, we're gonna... We're gonna put k times h here. That's better. This is like k times h. No, I can't do that. I, I actually have to do. Uh, what? Do I have to do it this way? That's so bad. Okay, well let's let's see what happens. So really? Did I mess something up? This doesn't feel right. It, it feels like the expression is really ugly. Uh did I did I Thank you, Coyote 2K19 for the follow. Okay, so it's K times the hypotenuse minus h, that's ax, times h, that's ax times ay, is apparently equal to uh, 1 quarter bc squared, so like bm squared, and this is equal to r squared minus um, k times h minus root r squared plus h squared all squared, and then plus mo times my, and mo is uh, k times h minus r squared plus h squared, square root, MO times MY, which is KH. Is this a true identity? Did I flip a sign? I think I flipped a sign. Oh no, it's actually okay. Uh, minus, yeah. No, what? R squared plus A squared, R squared, KH, KH. Okay, I think this identity is true. Um, which means we're done.
Okay, I guess that works. What do I think about this problem? I'm sure you had something better in mind, right? Like, there's there's a solution that I that was not what I just did. <laughs>